I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question provided by my student of me. The question here is to evaluate limit when x approaches pi by 6 for sine x minus half divided by x minus pi by 6. Now if I substitute pi by 6 here sine pi by 6 is half right. Uh, let me make this triangle to show you the values. Let me write show the triangle here itself. So that is a very special triangle where let us say this angle is pi by 6. In that case the sides of the triangle are 1, 2 and square root of 3. This angle will be pi by 3, right? So that is the right triangle which we are talking about. Sine pi by 6, that is to say 1 over 2, right? A positive over hypotenuse. So 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is 0, pi by 6 minus pi by 6 is 0. So you get 0 over 0 form, which is indeterminate. So now how to find this limit? So now we'll have to do some trigonometric uh, simplifications to really solve this question. So let's begin by a simple substitution. Denominator is x minus pi by 6. Let me write this as theta equals to x minus pi by 6. In that case, I could replace x with theta plus pi by 6. Also, the limit when x approaches pi by 6, when x approaches pi by 6, you will find that theta approaches pi by 6 minus pi by 6 as 0. So with that substitution, we can rewrite the question as limit instead of x approaching pi by 6, it will be theta approaching 0. And we'll write this as sine. Instead of x, we'll substitute by <coughs> theta plus pi by 6. Theta plus pi by 6 minus half divided by x minus pi by 6 as theta. Right? So that is the result after this substitution. Now what is sine a plus b? I hope you remember this formula is, let me write down sine a plus b, which is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Correct. And uh, pi by 6, sine pi by 6, as you know, is half, 1 over 2 and cos pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2. Right, so let us expand this. We get here limit theta approaches 0. So we are expanding sine theta plus pi by 6 using this compound angle formula. So we get sine theta cos pi by 6 plus sine pi by 6 cos theta minus half. Here it is 1 over theta. Let me write down this as, okay, okay, let's write down as 1 over theta, all this in brackets. Correct. Now, what is cos pi by 6? It is square root 3 over 2, right? So we'll replace this by square root 3 over 2. Sine pi over 6 is half. We'll replace that by half. So what we get here is limit. Theta approaches 0. So it is 1 over theta, which is this theta, times cos pi over 6 is square root 3 over 2. So let me write this as square root 3 over 2 sine theta plus sine pi over 6 is half. So we'll write this as half cos theta minus half. Now, I have to divide by theta both of them. I can find limit of this function as limit theta approaches 0 for the first part is uh, square root 3 over 2 times sine theta over theta plus for the second part of this function we can write this as limit theta approaches 0 Half is common, right? So I'm writing half as common. Within brackets, I could write this as 
cos theta minus 1 divided by this theta, right? So that's what we get. Now, the first part, we have square root 3 over 2, limit theta approaches 0 for sine theta over theta. And here we have half times limit theta approaches 0 for cos theta minus 1 over theta. As you know, this is a fundamental limit. We have already found this solution, which is 1. So we have square root 3 over 2 times 1 plus half times and this limit also we have found in one of our previous videos which is 0 right this limit is 0 so that is half times 0 and when you multiply you get 0 here and the result will be square root 3 over 2 so that becomes the answer for this question let me rewrite the answer here so you are going to get this answer as square root 3 over 2 now, some of you who have done L'Hopital's method could also find this limit using L'Hopital's method. Now, since we had 0 over 0 form, right, so, so we could find this limit as x approaches pi by 6 by finding derivatives of both numerator and denominators. So in that case, sine derivative is cos, we get cos x divided by well, this is minus 0, derivative of this. Derivative of x is 1 minus 0. So that's what we get. And now if I substitute pi by 6, this could be written as cos pi by 6, right? Uh, which is equal to square root 3 over 2. So you could also do with L'Hopital's rule since it is indeterminate 0 over 0 form. So either way, if you not learn this method, that is how you are going to do it. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.